check 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 one two one two you already know what it do it's your boy your baby say what's up practice lab production so no we back on it we still in the same stage we still in our balancing stage that's what we doing right now man we still talking to y'all about balancing now i'm gonna take you to the stage where it's another one of my secrets man but I'm going to give it to y'all, you know what I mean? Because I ain't going to hold no secrets, man. Because it's like painting. And you can get everybody a paintbrush and you can show them, but that don't mean everybody going to do it. You can get everybody the basketball they can play. That don't mean they all going to make the team. They can play at lunchtime. Don't mean they make the team. You can get next. That's what it's like. So everybody can see it. Don't mean everybody going to pick it up, right? So... What I'm going to show you right now is my final stage of my balancing. Yep, this can be used for the mixing stage and the maxing stage and the mastering stage. So, but you really want to do it at the end of your mix. So, you know, is your mix set to be to make it easier on the master too. So it's going to make it easier for them to just enhance instead of digging in and fixing things. So. This is what we doing. Basically, this will be my final check. So basically what I got, I got a reference track right here and I got a real track. And since I ain't playing a reference track and you can't hear it, I can tell you. It's Tupac, uh, Life by Outlaw, my, oh, the Machiavelli album. That's the uh, song, right? And this has been, I'm, I tested with multiple songs, and they all seem to perform the same way at this check that I'm doing. So since they all seem to perform at this check that I'm doing, the check that I'm doing got to be right in my sense. Don't got to believe in what I'm saying. You could do what you want to do. But in my sense, this check got to be right. So... Forget what you heard about what this do and what anybody told you. I'm telling you what I use it for. I like a person can pick up tools and use tools for whatever they want to use it for, but it could have been made for one thing and then you make it do other things. That's what I'm going to do, right? So I'm going to show you. So basically, what you got showing on my EQ right now is pink noise. That's uh, pink noise right there, and that's the shape that it'll leave. And what I did also with it was. It's a trick. It's, it ain't really a trick, but it's something you got to do to make you get this out of it so it work properly for what you're trying to get to, what you're trying to accomplish with it. So what I got basically on the track is the noise generator. You can go get this from uh, Melda Products, Melda.com. It's free. You see, I still got the free version for the telling me upgrade right here, right? It's free. The best free bundle pack you ever going to get is from them, Melda. Like that. Everything worked great. Everything you need, the mix master, period. So if you just want to go learn some plugins and just be locked in, you want to be completely free, you can. Because they plugins, they all good. And they all free. They got everything you need from start to finish to do a project. Everything you need. So, basically... What I got going on, like I said, I got some pink noise coming through, right? And what I call the pink noise is the shape. That's what I call the pink noise. The pink noise is the shape. The It's my shape line. Like, so I want to make sure I'm following that shape line that you see going down the screen. This shape. So I want this exact lane right here. And how... I'm getting it at the right dB. You got to take a volume fader after the generator and turn it all the way up to 6 dB and put the EQ behind it so you can watch it from after it's been turned all the way up to 6 dB. Why am I turning it up to 6 dB? I'm turning it up to 6 dB because 6 dB is the average height where I'll be clipping, where, where I'll be clipping that limiter. So that's the height you should be at. I'm, you don't got to listen to me, but that's the height you should be at with my trick, my trick. 
I don't know about nobody else trick. My trick, right? So you're going to take it up to that height, 6 dB. So this going to sit right. And then once you got that, like I said, you're going to watch it from here. And then you'll put it up against your reference tracks. So basically what I do, we're going to turn the volume down on this too. So you don't need to hear it. Just need to see it. So basically I'm ready to show you what's going on. So this is the reference track. So basically this is a Tupac Outlaw track right here. All right, so this is my pink noise. Like I say, it's the shape. So if you'll notice, pay attention. Like you can see this line is never even. It's wobbling. But if you pay attention, that height that this finally go to, it don't, it ain't really never going over. And if it is, it's a couple kicks, a couple ticks over it. But it's at the same general height. And you can see, like, just a little bit going over. So basically, this is what I noticed from all master songs in my genre. They come across the EQing of the, the dynamics would be a little different. You'll have some dips and bumps around. We're not EQ matching. So just remember that part. That ain't what we're doing. we creating our own sound. And... This is what you want to do anyway, so you're going to be able to cut out the reference part. So I don't need the reference tracks, but I'm putting the reference up here for you can understand that what I'm saying is is true. So I uh, put the rep, put the reference track right here, but you don't need the reference track. All you need is the, the uh, this plug-in, the uh, noise generator. So like I say, this is my shape. This is my shape I'm looking for, right? So once you get to keep saying this all the time, you're going to notice, to, especially if you're using the EQ like this, you're going to be able to notice when you see 200 up over here, over the line, and 500 over the line, and you're going to be knowing that stuff too much. This is period. You're going to already know it, it's even when you're EQing individual tracks. So you're going to become bad at mixing just from using this. So this is my shape. Now... clicks and pops. See this called clicks and pops mode. Now what I call this is my balance. This is my balance. So basically if you pay attention you can see how much space is in between the biggest point of here and the biggest point of here. And you gotta come from like where before this dip off like right here. And the biggest point of here and if you pay attention like at right here it's even so that showed me something too my balance can be determined by watching this clicks and pop coming through so I can come look and I can tell if my mix is balanced by checking my clips and pop if this is up these highs is up touching the line up in here I know it ain't right this down here I know it ain't right. So let me see you. This is my song. So see what I'm saying? Right here. So when I go into the mastering stage, I would know that I would tilt this just slightly. Uh, notch that down some so I can get this even. I want my lows and my highs even. So it'll just be a little bit because I know it ain't going to be throughout the whole song. So it's, I'm only going to need a little bit of it. And I even that out. Basically, that's something that need to be fixed right there. So I see that. This is, like I say, a part of the balance of stage. I'll be checking. So I'm, I check that right there. And then I go tackle that. So then I got the stairs. Now with the stairs is what I do. This is my peaks. So I got my shape, my balance, and my peaks. This my peaks right here. I use my stairs for my peaks. So, I basically don't want to be, I can get on the line, uh, especially like around like 1K and stuff, like from 500 to 1K, I touch on the line, you know what I mean? But like I say, this going to be fixed anyway, you see it touching a little bit, but that's going to be fixed because like I say, I'm going to tilt that and that's going to be coming down some a little bit more so to match my EQ, my balance would be a little even. So. back to the reference track 
as you'll see. So this is what you'll be looking for. So you want to do it first with reference tracks. Pick a reference track, whatever your genre of music you're making, and see how it line up to the uh, shapes and the manner of what I'm telling you. And then work from there. And I promise you, you listen to my methods that I showed you already with uh, mixing, balancing. You go follow them, and you follow this as your final approach. And I promise you, you're gonna have good mixes. You're gonna you're gonna have good mixes if you eat chewing right. I can't. I ain't really been diving into how to do all that part, but I'm saying I'm just a lot of tutorials on eating. I try to tackle the stuff that they not really telling, and I don't really see people talking about. So this is what I'm saying. So this is what you'll want to do, man. You go get this plug in because it got all the clicks in the pop right at your fingertips right here. And you check all them right here. And that's your boy Obey who say, what's up, Regis Lair Productions. Peace.